Hi everyone, in this video we are going to look at accessories for the Brevo Oracle Touch. This is part 2 of a video I made a few years ago and since then I have purchased quite a few accessories and I'll talk about a few that I use regularly. You can find links to purchase any of these accessories in the video description. The first accessory I'll cover is this spouted shot glass which I use every weekday to prepare my coffee to go to work. I really like this shot glass actually because it makes collecting espresso very easy even with the spouted portafilter. Now in this case I am using the naked portafilter which I will cover later. But while we are here, look at this wonderful shot with beautiful flow and lots of crema. And the best feature of the spouted shot glass is that it makes it really easy to transfer espresso into my travel mug. Then I add my milk. secure my lid, and I'm ready to go. The next accessory is one that I use several times a week. It's a simple Pyrex measuring cup with a spout and one quart capacity. It may seem a little silly to cover this accessory in this video, but I actually love it because it makes refilling the Oracle Touch from the top access panel very easy, even if your machine is under some cabinets. And it only takes two of these to fully refill the water reservoir. Another accessory I use regularly are these rubber coated tweezers. I like to use these for two tasks. First, they can easily pick up leftover beans that are sitting on top of the conical burrs in a grinder. The rubber coated tip means that the tweezers are not going to scratch the burrs through metal on metal contact. And by using tweezers, you're keeping your fingers away from the burrs as a safety precaution. If you are single dosing your shots, the tweezers make it really easy to pick up a single bean to hit the exact weight you are looking for. This Giotto bellows can come in handy for cleaning your Oracle Touch machine and other coffee equipment. While I rarely use this hand blower to clean the grinder because it tends to make a mess, instead of pulling out a vacuum, you can use the hand blower and the rubber coated tweezers to remove all the residue in a grinder and then use a small brush to collect all of the residue and sweep it all into the Breville knockbox. But really, I mostly use this hand blower to quickly clean the tamp fan collar. The tamp fan and some small parts on my external coffee grinder. Recently, I purchased a larger milk jug so I could froth a larger quantity of milk at once. On the right side is the Breville milk jug with a capacity of 12 ounces. And on the left is the larger milk jug with a capacity of 20 ounces. To make a latte with the Breville milk jug, I add milk until it reaches the bottom of the spout. On the large milk jug, I fill the milk until it gets to the middle of the spout. This is also the highest level you can go on this jug without overflowing the jug during frothing. As expected, the larger quantity of milk takes longer to froth, so the time saving isn't significant. I thought I would use this much more, but in the end, I actually prefer to froth each drink individually. If you're interested in getting a milk jug so you can froth milk for two lattes at once, I would actually recommend getting a milk jug that is slightly bigger than the one I bought. So one with a capacity of 24 ounces or maybe slightly more. While I prefer my coffee without any sort of sugar, my daughter likes the sweet coffee drinks from coffee chains, so we recently bought this pack of flavored syrup, which comes with caramel, chocolate, and white chocolate syrup, so I could make her lattes that are even better than what she can buy at a coffee shop. I think we all agree here in the house that out of these three, the white chocolate syrup is our favorite. For a latte, I add one and a half tablespoons to the espresso. I mix it up with a spoon, and then I pour the milk into the espresso so I can still make a beautiful looking white chocolate latte with art. And finally, the last accessory is one of my all time favorites for any espresso machine. I've talked about the naked portafilter filter in previous videos, but here are the main pros and cons to add this accessory to your setup. For the pros, what I love most is that it gives much more clearance to fit cups under the portafilter. filter. It also provides useful indications about the flow of your brewing. 
It's much easier to clean in general than the spout of porta filter, and it highlights the beauty of the espresso every time you brew it. For the cons, it can be messy when you have a bad shot. It's a little pricey for a completely optional accessory, and it doesn't completely replace the double spouted porta filter. For me specifically, I will switch back to the double spouted porta filter so that I can make two cappuccinos at once. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to click the like button and subscribe to this channel. Thank you.